Well, Bart, I'm, I, I know a lot of Badger fans are curious your reaction to the Paul Chris news, and, and uh, I think a lot of them are, you know, the, the, your supporters are hoping it's a fresh start. I guess, what was your thought, and, and, uh, and, and how do you see this whole, this whole change here? Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a great change. Uh, he's the one who recruited me, so, you know, that's a, that's a great feeling. The guy comes back. You know, not yeah. many kids get, get to do that. And, <coughs> sorry. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity, but, you know, that playbook will start getting read on January 2nd after we beat Auburn. So. Sure. And, I mean, t tell us a little bit about your relationship with Paul the first time through. Obviously, like you mentioned, he recruited you, uh, and, and he must have made quite an impact. Yeah, he, he did. He, uh, he got me to come here, and uh, when I got here, I fell in love with the school. And uh, yeah, people asked if the, the thought of transferring is coming to my mind uh, throughout my three years here. And, uh, you know, I fell in love with the school. I'm here as a Wisconsin Badger, not following Coach B, Coach Chris, but sure. uh, it's just cool that Coach Chris came back. <laughs> yeah, but you almost sound like like Paul himself. I mean, it sounds like you know this might be a destination for him, and, and if and if if this has been a destination school for you, it sounds like a pretty good marriage there, huh? Yeah, it's a good marriage. Yeah. And as far as the way this season has gone, I mean, you know, you, you think back to July and all the things that you guys have been through as a team, but then you, you specifically, what's this year been like, and and uh, and and how how have you dealt with you know all the things that have been thrown your way? You know, um, I take my role very seriously, and uh, you know, my my job this year was to be signaler in the and. I don't, I don't quite know what it was, third string, second string, you know, it flip-flopped all the time. Right. But, uh, you know, my goal is to be the best signaler in the nation to get <laughs> Joel, to get the play out good. And, you know, we had a few uh, administrative penalties where the clock was going a little sure. quick, but that was against Rutgers. And, man, those umps, they, they got that clock moving quick. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that that was on me. But, you know, I take my role very seriously on, on this team I did last year. And, uh even the year before that. <laughs> what have you done to stay sharp? And, and you know, I know that, you know, you, your focus on the future will be after January 2nd. But, I mean, wh how, how do you feel you're prepared now for whatever, you know, competition is coming your way in spring ball and beyond? Well, my football IQ is through the roof from what it was when I was a true freshman. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's just you know, coming from what, what s small talk we had with Coach Chris when I was a senior in high school just going over, okay, this is one thing they – uh, you know terminology sure. or whatever then coach Canada had his own playbook you know yeah. you start going through that coach Ludwig been two two years in the system which you know right it's the first time anybody's had that around here yeah but uh yeah the football IQ is is a lot better and you know all it is is putting name to a different play do you look at what's coming as a fresh start for everybody or is it going to be similar to the other competitions there have been for the quarterback job um you know it's always going to be a grind it's always going to be a battle and uh Joel's a good guy. Tanner's a good guy. But, uh, you know, we're all going to be playing our best, doing our best to try to seal that starting job. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a fresh start for everybody. It's a new playbook, a little more complicated uh, from what Kurt and Joel told me sure. in the past. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a good it's going to be a good spring. And, and I think the one thing that people have admired about, you know, all three of you is the fact that you've rolled with the punches so willingly. I mean, when they hear that Tanner's back on defense here for the bowl game for a while, you know, they're, they're just going to, everyone's going to scratch their head and as they did when, when you started, you know, rugby style punting. I mean, is that say a lot about you guys? Yeah, you know, um, actually we said it today, we only have two true one-dimensional quarterbacks because I'm a quarterback and a punter. <laughs> Tanner plays quarterback safety. Connor Sanger, he's uh, starting to get reps at receiver now. Really? That just lead, uh well, I guess three now. DJ wasn't here today. He had the final. Sure. But, so, yeah, those three are the only true quarterbacks. Yeah. Wow, how about that, huh? <laughs> yeah, it, it, weird how, how that all happens. But, yeah, just using our talents for uh, wherever we can. Sure, sure. And I don't, you know, like Otzi was saying, um, if you go back and look at Paul's history, he was really in, in the same shoes you were back in the late 80s. The, the, the third coach that came in during his tenure, you know, he came out in the spring game. He had been moved all around. He had played linebacker, safety, tight end, and then um, because of some injuries, played quarterback in the spring game, had a great spring game, but only got one game 
at quarterback. And uh, so I think, you know, he's got a good perspective there on, on what you're you're up against and really what everybody's up against. Does that, you know, knowing that, are you excited about maybe having a coach that because he's been in your shoes will, will give uh, everybody kind of that, uh, you know, that, that fair shake? Yeah, uh, I didn't know that much about your history. Yeah, you're uh, getting a lot of it, aren't you? Right. Yeah, exactly, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I guess, you know, uh, being an underdog, I guess, and uh, – yeah, it's just, just going to come down who knows the playbook best. The bottom line is fans want to see production, don't they? And, and whoever it is. <laughs> hey, if you can put 40 points a game like he did, like Coach Chris did with the other two quarterbacks, and hey, that's right. You know, that's what's going to win football games. As you look forward to the the game with Auburn, uh, what what does this game provide you in the way of you know finishing off a season? You know, on a positive note, with all the things that this team has been through. Yeah, you know, it's just grinding, grinding through practice, grinding through uh, our finals week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For, I almost forget about school every once in a while during finals week. Right. But uh, yeah, you know, just grinding through finals, grind, finishing out the semester strong, and then going straight into Auburn, right into Auburn film and all that. How will you look back on the season? How? Will, oh God. Uh, you know. This was a great season. It was Melvin's mag- magnificent. Melvin the magnific- mag- bleh, magnificent. Yeah. And, uh, whatever. You know, it, it, it was his season. But uh, you know, to win, to win games, we also need good quarterback play. Sure. You don't have to hand the ball to him every time. Maybe we'll throw him the ball. Sure. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> you want to be able to take some pressure off Corey next year too, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, hey Bart, thanks a lot, and uh, enjoy your holidays, and uh, good luck in the bowl game. Uh, thank you. You too. Thank you.